Hello MacWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online where we are playing the Dire Wolf today. And that's because a lot of people have asked me if I could play the 6 PPC Dire Wolf while the PPCs are still broken, while the Clan ER PPCs are still broken. Why? Because PGI did a little bit of a number oopsie and now the PPCs have a higher splash damage than intended and this thing is actually quite an... I wouldn't say a good build, but it kind of works. It kind of works. Why? Um, because the higher cooldown makes it so that we can actually take some cooldown periods, and this mech is able to just barely run the six PPCs, and having six PPCs is quite awesome. It kind of negates the poor mobility of the Dire Wolf, so we can just stay outside of the fights, we don't have to run around in circles in the NASCAR, and we have range, we have good pinpoint damage, we can peek, and we can take our cooldown periods, and we can play hide and seek and peek peekaboo with our enemies. So let's get into the fight here. Let's get into the build and then into the fights. I'm gonna take the Diabolf Prime here just because I just bought that thing and um, yeah I have it uh, for a bit of an experience bonus. I'm gonna take all the Omnipods here. Um, very important thing by, by the way. If you take a look at the Direwolf right side source, you will see that we have a negative 5% heat on that thing. And the same thing for the Direwolf Prime left side torso. So those side torsos give you, um, I would say, a major benefit. And I think it's kind of needed for the build to actually work. Because if you fire all of the six PPCs, don't ever do it at once, but if you fire them in pairs, you will get to your maximum heat threshold. So just 95, 96%. And then you have to cool down. And the heat gen is kind of important here. So it doesn't work without the side torsos, I have the feeling. Uh, otherwise, you have to wait for too long in order to shoot the weapons one after another, um, and you have to skill it out completely. But... Since we have 72 Alpha Strike damage and we have a good chunk of range, we can deal damage over time and it's actually quite a fun build to play. I have four PPCs on my right arm, you know, for right side peeking, there are two PPCs on the left arm. The rest is just heat management as well as the targeting computer Mark 1 for extra velocity and a bit of a zoom boost and a bit of a targeting time boost and uh, that is it. It's a very straightforward build, it's a sniper, it doesn't want to be in the team cohesion, it wants to stay outside of it and we're gonna have some fun with that today. Let's take a look at the skills. Before before we get into the games, shall we? As you can see, I took every single point of heat gen that I could acquire. Every single one, because we need it. This thing is completely based upon heat management. Otherwise, again, it wouldn't work. And then on top of that, we got two velocity points here, and there are two down here that we could take. And that really helps with um, not being... Uh, actually being able to shoot better, not having the need of leading the shots so much. That's what I wanted to say. On top of that, we got a little bit of uh, survivability. We got armor hardening off the left side of the firepower tree. That's always good to have since we are a big boxy mech that probably will catch some return fire. And then as you can see, operations is the big other thing that we have. We have maximum heat containment as well as maximum cool run in order to keep the mech cold. And guys, don't worry. You will get to your 90% heat uh, capacity. However, the cooling after that is quite decent. So you will get to zero heat in no time and then you can start your pattern from the beginning. You just peek around, you shoot twice, you shoot another time from the other arm and then you pull back to cover, wait a little while and then go in again. We also have rated deprivation for actually doing that so that the enemies uh, don't lock on us for too long. So when we uncover, we break line of sight and with that we're gonna break the locks better with rated deprivation as well as a double cool shot build on top of a UAV. The UAV specifically here, um, because I wanna inform my team if I'm getting pushed by light max. So it's always good to have when, you know, you know that there's somebody on your flank, you pop the UAV, the UAV tells you, hey, there is a guy, and then you can inform your team, hey, can you please help me a little bit? Or at the very least, kind of drive him off by shooting him with missiles or so, and then, you know, you're a bit safer with that. If you want to go for more offensive capabilities, drop an artillery strike on top of it also working. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And as always, if you have fun, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing Terra Therma and we are playing Skirmish. So let's see what we can do here. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it's still working, guys. We are not, uh, we're not uh, over our heat threshold. Yeah, that's what I want to say. We are just at our heat threshold. So the cooling is not going to be that great here, but let's see what we can do on this map. I, I'm really, really eager to see what this make is capable of. And I'm going to try to set up somewhere in the, let's say, golf-ish, seven-ish area-ish. Um, let's not stay in the lava because lava is hot. Lava will generate heat on your mech, so not good. And um, ideally, we're going to go around here on the right side as well. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go. 
Let's go over here to the right side. Let's go up there on the hill because there we can uh, peek around and try to get an overview of the center of the map. And I hope it works, guys. I really hope it works. The funny thing is, uh, on this map here, usually the fight is very static and that's ideal for us. This is uh, a map where we don't have to run around in circles so often and so much. And uh, therefore, we can just set up somewhere. Uh, we can just chill a thousand meters. I mean, it's my range, right? My range on the highway. Let's go. Um... Are they gonna push around the right side? We should probably watch this. I don't know, those were just some skirmishers, some scouts. But nonetheless, they are enemies that we can try to shoot. Oh, hello. Uh-huh, that was a bad shot. And that as well. Okay, fine. So we hit the first one, then they were moving out, but that is okay. So again, I'm gonna keep an overview here. Was that a guy? Oh, it's hard to see. All right, and then we have enemies on the left side. It's a Cougar. It's just a Cougar. But at the same time, it is a Cougar. It's a, not the fastest mech in the universe. So, is there more? Got that guy. Not. And then another hit. So, double hit out of a triple shot. And now the enemies are contesting me. Anyone caught wind of any lights? All right, all right, all right. So, where do we go? I cannot go anywhere, really. I have a guy on the left side. There he is. And we hit him, actually. Right, that's cool. Got him. Double hit. He shut down. I need to go for it now. Ah, the last one was not great. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna wait here. We're gonna overwatch. Uh-huh, okay, nice. So, we trade a bit with whatever is there on the left side. You wanna peek again? Oh, double hit on my side, single hit on your side. You, Kuga, you cannot sustain that. And I think he knows that now, now that his right side torso is open. Um, speaking of NASCAR, there's a bit of a NASCAR happening. Also, light mix in our bags. Uh-huh. Let's get out of here. Let's move. Nope. Yes. Perfect. And I need to get a little bit to the lower ground because the left side doesn't seem safe. Wait, really? Really? Okay. All right. You want to be here? I pop my UAV. And I'm going to go for... No, oh, no. Not like this. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh-huh. So, he's about to die. That guy's about to die. It's a spider. We... My team is about to die, actually. So, that left side is actually getting a lot of pressure here. Okay. Yeah, let's hold left side, guys. Left side is hot. Hello, mister. Guys, can we hold left side? Crap, turn around. Mm, PPC is on my end, but I can hold it a little bit. We're gonna try to take uh, a bit of a backward approach here. Dodge down in the last moment. We're gonna hold this here. Got him. Nice. So, um, again, this is good. This is my cover. But if those guys are coming around the left side, we have a little bit of a problem. So, I, I think we still have to hold this here. Yeah, let's, let's go. You know what? We're gonna move around here. We're gonna try to get the Vapor Eagle. Hello, Mr. Vapor Eagle. Got him. I mean, he's not dead, but he's gonna get destroyed in a second. Especially when we can hit his leg once more. Oh no. There we go. So, overheating. Critical. Torso critical. Spider is standing there. Alright. Uh, if the spider is getting close, we have a problem. So, let's try to again go backwards. Depth of field, guys. Depth of field. Trying to get a lot of distance between me and my enemies. Ah, he didn't push out that far. That's okay, though. So, let's get out of here. This is not good. The spider is in my flank. The linebacker, Black Lanner, something like that. It's a fast, heavy mech at the very least. So, we break line of sight. That's important. We're gonna go for the Cougar next. Hello, Cougar. Nope. Come on, Cougar! Stay here! He doesn't want to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the spider now. Oh, crap. That's bad. We are 8 and 5, though. And this is where my side torso is gone and we did a lot of my heat management. Yeah, this is the thing that I was afraid of. The freaking spider. You can, at the very least, get that guy. And now the machine guns. The machine guns and everything. <laughs> of course. But it's okay, guys. We did our stuff. We dealt 700 damage. We got 650 in return. And, I mean, this mech is really hard, especially on Terra Therma. But it was good. It was really good. So, last guy is a spider coming in with the machine gun and an ER large laser. And yeah, the enemies got me. But um, I think the spider is just about to die now. Beautifully done.
So, we held the line, guys. And as I was saying, I was really happy that we didn't have to NASCAR around all the time, that we actually could stay alive and could stay... Not stay alive in the end, but uh, we could stay in one position and just shoot into the fight. And this is what the mech is made for. We got four kill most damage dealt with three killing blows, five assists, three solo kills even, with 727 damage, 656 taken, and seven components destroyed. And that was the first round, so let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Canyon Network. We are playing, uh, what is that here, Skirmish, and I have a Bravo Land spawn, so that is not good. We're gonna try to go to the right side because there's a ramp down there that we can use to get up here to this hill, and then I think I'm not gonna move at all anymore because I'm not made for rotation with this build. So let's stick to the Charlie 5 area and see what we can do. It's gonna be... It's gonna be difficult. I think as soon as enemies have some light mags that they can stick at my shiny metal bot, we will have some problems. But again, that's uh, that's a story being told in the future. Right now, I do care about getting into position first, and then we're gonna see what we can do with that. Um, uh, I'm gonna hold Charlie 5. I cannot go anywhere anyway. Uh, UAV in the center. Alrighty. So, let's see what we can do. Enemies are probably coming down from, yeah, this area. Okay, okay, okay. What was that guy all about? I don't know. Uh, and anyway, I'm gonna char hold Charlie 5 because, uh, again, rotation is not an option. Absolutely not. So we're gonna go over here to the right side because we are a good right side peeker. We're gonna try to get it done. So there's a guy. Ah, a second too late. What about that dude? What about that dude? Let's go. Ah, that's a miss, sadly. But okay, we have some people down here. Hello, Mr. Kentaro. Okay. Fine. I mean, if he's giving it to us, then I'm gonna take it. Oh, 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 that's bad. Oh, oh, that's everybody. No, 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 not allowed. So, as predicted, there is a heavy rotation going on. I don't know what you're gonna do about it. Um, I mean, is it really so much of a heavy rotation? We got an artillery strike that we dodged mostly. Let's peek around here. That was so bad. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, they're watching this here. Um, and I, I panicked a bit. I wanted to get my damage out as quickly as possible, and this is what happened. But anyway, you know what? No, this is actually a good spot here. Steps remain, okay, so we got that going for us. The right side is getting popped, though. Oh, the return fire. Yeah, they're just waiting for me now. Huh. I mean, that Hellbringer is not having a good time here. I'm gonna pop a UAV. Just, you know, just have it. Just to have it there. So, can I peek in? I want to try, guys. I really want to try. There's a guy. Let's go. Nope. So, missiles are fine. Trebuchet on the side. Okay. What's that guy? Oh, LRMs. Alright, I mean, he's pushed down. That's the good news. That is it. Um, And I want to shoot again. How do we manage that? Let's go down here. This guy is unaware. Bam, 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 I say. And also, I'm gonna get a little bit of return fire. But that left side peeking is kind of working out for us. Problem is, the enemies are pushing in and the rotation is now on. So, how is it? It's kind of hard to tell. It's really hard to see here. Double hit there. Uh, and if we get some more missiles on the trap, it's gonna go down. Oh, I love the missiles here. Pretty good. Now, we need to wait for those guys to grind into our yeah, yeah. main force, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's a guy. It's the mad dog that we hit before, so a double hit, and I do care about my defense more than my offense right now. So therefore, I was not going all in. Let's try again, guys. There's a guy. Missed that. Um, okay. Bunch of hits there. The grasshopper is a stick at this point. Okay. I mean, we are 6 and 3. We should be a bit more aggressive, I guess. There he is. That was rude! On both ends, I guess. Alright, so Grasshopper has lost everything, basically. <laughs> so, now we are getting targeted by stuff. I mean, do I care? I, I don't think that I care anymore. I think we're gonna just go for it at this point. We also narked, which is also fun. Oh, that's you, buddy! Hello, little one! Small lasers, lerms, and narc. Who would play something like an arctic wolf, huh? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is bad. Oop. Hello! So, we got something on there. Uh, by the way, minimum distance is a thing. For the lerms, not for me so much, so we're gonna go for that. And he has the small lasers, and it's a good idea to actually use them now. Waiting for the cooldown. Alright. Almost got me, buddy. Almost. But not anymore. Thank you. Thank you for the help, Mr. Lerm Dude. 
<laughs> oh, what a freaking game. What a freaking game. Thanks, man. Oh, boy. This is good. So we still have two of our PPCs. There is an SRM Jenner on the center. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take that UAV. That's the thing that we can do. And we can do. If only, if only we can hit that thing. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. And now. All right, so UAV is down. I mean, that's a little bit of help. And now we're gonna try to go for the Jenner. Hey, we hit him. Nice. We hit him, right? Not the friends, because friends are friends, not food. <laughs> Let's take a look, guys. That was a crazy round. And honestly, staying on my high ground here, staying on my kind of like little peaking commander hill was good. We hold the, uh, held the enemies back quite a lot. We got a killing blow, two kill most damage dealt. We got nine assists, 728 damage done, 720 sorry 25 taken and we got four components destroyed guys that was it for today that was the dire wolf with six ppcs i hope you enjoyed it and if you did as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye